Hey guys, Saurav here and in today's video we will see how to package your Python application using something called as PyInstaller. So when you package your Python application, it becomes a single executable file depending on what OS you're on and you can distribute this file directly to whoever you want and uh, the user need not have Python installed on the system. They can simply click on this or execute this through the terminal and then they are good to go. So they don't have to install any dependencies or Python or anything and they can just use this executable out of the box. So in order to make your Python application into a executable, we will be using something called as PyInstaller. So this uh, PyInstaller, it converts your Python application to a binary or an executable depending on what OS you're on automatically. So in my case, I have a bunch of files here in my project directory and my main executable file is called spent underscore driver dot py and spent dot py is a module which I wrote which I've imported inside of spent driver and then spent dot db is a file which uh, I need to be present inside the uh, project directory for the code to work properly. So let's see how we can convert this uh, structure into a executable file. So it's pretty simple. You have to first install the pi installer tool. So for that we can just say pip install pi installer. And since for me I've already installed it, uh, it says requirement already satisfied. But for you guys it should run a quick installation. So now we can simply call pi installer and we can specify the main executable Python file which we have. So in my case, it is spent underscore driver dot py. So this should do it, but we can also specify a bunch of more arguments. So the first argument which I'm going to specify is the one file argument. So this argument would make sure that the entire application of yours is combined into one small executable file. If you do not specify this, there will still be a uh, executable produced by the end of the process, but the other modules and the other files would still uh, be outside this binary. So to keep things simple, we are going to specify the one file argument. And now in order to include our dependency here, so spent.db is my data dependency. For that, we can use the add data uh, argument. So I can say add data and in that I can specify spent.db because that is my uh, file which I need and it is a relative path. So since I'm calling this uh, command from within this directory, I can just specify spent.db. But if your file is in a different directory, you can give the relative path. So I can say spent.db and I can say colon and dot. So what colon and dot means is this is my source directory and this is my destination directory. So when I say colon and then I say dot, it means that I want to copy this file into the top level of our application. So let's run this and see what we get. All right, so I can see that it's successfully completed and now I can go over here and I will see that there is a, a folder created called DIST or dist and there are executable lies. So right now I can just clear this out cd into the dist directory and then I can just call the uh, executable just like how you would call your python application and it should run. So in my case since I have a bunch of command line arguments involved it's, it throws me a message saying the usage is in this way. So I can say spend driver underscore in it and it should initialize a new profile for me and then I can say spent underscore driver 120 on food and it should log that expense in and then I can say spent view it should tell me that my total expenditure is 120 and the details are specified over here. So this process applies exactly in the same way to other applications as well if you have a desktop application or a GUI you can pretty much do it in the same way as shown here and uh, yeah that's pretty much it so thanks for watching.